Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, we hope you come back tomorrow. Peter, how is our new apartment's distance from Disney treating you? On a Friday afternoon after work, apparently, because this is the first Friday that we've lived here. It was last Friday we were in Detroit. Note to self, Sarah picked me up after work and we go straight out from the office on Fridays because yeah. I-4. It's brutal. We've been on the road 20 minutes and we're not even at SeaWorld yet. So when we do these time lapses for our intro, they're like just about four minutes and we still aren't even at SeaWorld and <laughs> we were like really close to it when we introed. We're going less than 10 miles an hour. We're just not used to this anymore. This I mean, is some you, Dan you, Ryan business. Right, you live and you learn. So yeah. we just know going forward, Sarah's gonna drive me to work on Fridays and we'll go straight or we'll from just work not go out to Fridays. property. Or not go out to theme parks. Because right. even to get to Universal took yeah, a while. Yeah, a while. We still feel pretty lucky to live this close oh, though. Oh gosh, yeah. Okay, so Peter is gonna go run a quick five miles. He also brought his trunk so he can just like hop right in the pool afterwards so that he can come right back out. But I'm eating them with the air hearts and they're in Galaxy's Edge freaking out right now because they have yet to see it. They haven't been looking at it online, what everybody else has posted. So I think they're still there. The temperature dropped, it's like low 80s. It feels awesome out tonight. I'm trying to convince the Earhart's to let me watch the kids so they can go on the ride. I have a pretty good reason that I can't go on anymore. Not to bad wait times for Toy Story Land either. Alrighty, in we go. And by we, I mean us, because it's just me. Also, I don't really know my way around the lands, so hopefully I won't have too much trouble finding them. I'm also wearing my glasses today. Just kind of like didn't feel up to totally getting ready. Just like one of those days, Peter and me both. Like we were just like just kind of off feeling, but um, we're happy it's Friday. Got my glasses on. Hopefully, I'll be able to see them. There's a lot of them though. I should be able to. I found these kids. Do you like Galaxy's Edge? Yes. But this whole place is Galaxy's Edge. Yeah. Isn't it huge? The edge of the galaxy. Exactly. <laughs> Did my five miles today? On a little bit of sore. Ooh. I missed it. Phantasmic's finishing up right now. Um it's beautiful weather out tonight for the conditions. I mean it's a little warm. It's Florida though. What do you expect? Um I'm gonna get through the car, bring the car to the boardwalk. Sarah and the Earhart's are in studio still. But I don't want to go and look like this. So I'm gonna move the car, change. I have dinner that Sarah made in the car. I didn't want to eat it before my run and have a repeat of yesterday, but feel much better today. I ran in my, my Nike Zoom flies that my buddy Steve gave to me because they didn't fit his feet. And they're just so light. It was exactly what my feet and my body needed. Now, but I'm ready, it's Friday. I want to go hang out with the Air Hearts. I hope they're not too tired. If they are and we cut this night short, that's okay, Air Hearts. Don't feel bad when you see this in a week from now. Still love you, I get it. It's my Friday, but you're on vacation, so it's like, you know, I gotta go. I'm just rambling to pass it by the time because I just wanna be sitting. And just like that, from your side, I'm at the boardwalk. From my side, I forgot that they, I didn't realize that they closed off the exit. Like, the, I forgot that the back exit of studios that no longer exists, it's only for buses, was the one that pops you up like right here next to the boardwalk. So I actually had to leave, go, on Osceola Parkway, like I was going towards Animal Kingdom, come up through, I believe it was World Drive, maybe? All the way, like literally I had to drive all the way around studios. Just come back, not a big deal at all, but like, I had not thought about that. I was like, oh. And like literally, I could have walked, but I wanted the car to be close. Like it would have been, I'd have been here already. Changed probably if I walked from the parking lot, if studio's over, because of the spot I got, the parking spot I got. But my clothes were there, I'm gonna change, and I want, the car to be closed for when Sarah and me go home tonight because she's already gonna be walking a bunch and I don't we don't need her walking, you know, a mile and a half back from boardwalk to the 
parking lot of studios, so that'll be good. We have not eaten at Woody's. Is it Woody's toy box? No, Woody's yeah. lunch box. Woody's lunch I always think it's Andy's, but it's Woody's. I've always thought it should be Andy's. Right, because it's his backyard. He owns it. Woody's on it. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you. Plenty of times. I got a portal punch. I got blue moons. Those are pop tarts. Those are desserts. Wait, wait a minute. What am I doing here? That's right, return of the clown creepy slide. So since they're all at the theme park and it's 8.45 and I don't, I don't know if they're staying till close or if they're just gonna watch it on Time Spectacular, I changed into my swim trunks. I'm gonna dive in because I'm all sweaty anyway. So I'm gonna take a quick dip and cool off, relax those muscles, do a little aerobic cool down workout kind of a thing to get those muscles feeling good for my 30 miles I'm doing in the next two days. And I'll wait for all of them to give me a text when they're on the way back, and then I'll go get ready for them to return. 20 minutes later. Uh, what? Since when is studios up until 10 o'clock tonight? And Star Wars doesn't even start till 10. Well, I can get there in probably 15 minutes into the park, then I gotta find them. I'll definitely find them before Star Wars, so at least get to enjoy that with them. And the walk back. But I thought I was gonna sit back and relax, but I'd rather be with them. I just realized how silly it was, kind of, for me to move the car. All the valid, all the reasons I said before are still valid, but like, I just did a couple mile loop in the car. I did get to go dip in the pool, which felt amazing. And I just realized that the restroom by the new bus stop has one of the fancy new water bottle fill uppers. Look at this fancy thing. Replace, okay, so we're gonna put that there. Does it just keep going? Fancy, right by the new bus stops. Well, if this isn't a scary view of the Skyliner, I don't know what is. There's even a sign right here by the gate that I've never seen or heard of before. Struck by ride hazard. What? We were so busy eating, I didn't even ask you what you thought of Galaxy's Edge, Carolyn. Did you love oh my it? Oh gosh. It's so Should we go great. up that ramp? Yes. Okay. It's overwhelming. Kaylee! Wait, run away, kid. Come on. I was raised on the original Star Wars movies. And I, I do like the new ones, but the original ones just like have my heart and like just nostalgia. And like right as soon as I walked past that tunnel, like through that tunnel, it was just like, I don't know. Your like, heart just, just like, yeah, they, it's yeah. really, really yeah. cool. Like, it's, they did such a good job and it's so big and immersive and I mean, yeah. I've, we've only been there a couple of times, and every time I see something new, and like I just, you still feel like it's magical and stuff. It, yeah, you still yeah. feel like it's magical. It's obviously a different kind of magic, but it's right. It's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. I'm really happy with it. Not that I wasn't like really skeptical because I'm really easy to please, but yeah. still, like we would, we just walked around. We didn't even go on any other ride or, or, or eat any of the food. Ride. Or we did have yeah. the blue milk and the green milk. The blue yeah. milk is way better, <laughs> especially with rum, um, <laughs> but. Like, it's just cool just to like walk around and see it all. Yeah. It's, it's, it's awesome. a good land. Yeah. Priorities. They're just perfect. <laughs> They're just perfect. They're right. I did it. I made it. I made it all the way. Now I just have to find them. Luckily, I have Sarah's find my phone hooked up to my phone so I can purposely stalk them. I haven't told them that I am here. But I don't even. Will they let me even in? She's got me over there. She saw me coming. Okay, I should be able to spot them. They're a big family full of red hair and a platinum blonde haired girl. Let's see. I picked them up by the shops on Sarah's GPS. So we shall see. I knew that they would love this store. I'm willing to bet that they are in the new store over here doing some shopping. And look who it is. I made it! Oh my gosh! You got a treasure chest? You're covered in jewels? You must be a princess. Or are you a pirate? Princess. Princess? Are you a pirate or a princess? Kaylee. She's a princess. You're a princess too? Okay. I haven't seen so many of these bags. Carolyn is interested in this Huey Do and Louie. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Can I see Katrina? Whoa! 
Oh, and Sully? I would take the Scrooge one. Scrooge McDuck? Genie! Genie? Yeah. I love the Evil Queen one, too. How much is it? I have never seen these Miss Piggy ears. Oh! Slinky dog! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Can you just not even wait until we have another stroller here with you and a sleeping child? I know. But when it's my child? Yeah. Hey guys, went to go get some beers and we are gonna watch the Star Wars fireworks we have not done in forever. <laughs> You love fire. We're gonna go for a stroll. This is me and my girlfriend Cordelia. Um, we're just becoming friends. I think she can, this is the first time she's seen herself in the selfie cam. She's also kind of tired. You're so cute. <laughs> Look at This is an Earhart loop around World Showcase, but instead we're on Sunset Boulevard. Not many guests left. Park is good and closed. They're staying at the boardwalk so we can walk back. And they have no plans until the afternoon and I don't have work. And we're getting up early to like edit the vlog, go to the farmer's market and stuff, so. But you know us, we will not get sleep. Am I talking too much? <laughs> this is what it's like when you're a baby and you see yourself vlogging for the first time. Ooh. Oh. Who's that baby? <laughs> Kieran, can you click your heels? What? Can you click your heels like Dad? Whoa! Watch my heels. Ooh, can you do a toe touch like Peter? Don't rub your pants. It's all medicinal. I think the last time we heard Peter did a toe touch. A toe touch. A toe touch. I wonder if I can still do toe touch. <laughs> I wonder if Peter could still do a toe touch. Yo, hold on. You better act quickly. Act quickly. All these cheerleaders here. Did your pants rip? For bed. <laughs> nice and comfy. Back in the hall, going home. 
We are at home. We're gonna get a stop and get something for Kuna to eat because he's hungry. I did not understand the first bit of that English. <laughs> Kinda have to get up early. I know. Well, I'm like, we have to get up early by choice because we want to hang out with those goons again. Mm -hmm. And um, like take advantage of the, the weekend. weekend. And more people arrive tomorrow. And a lot more people arrive tomorrow and for the rest of the week too. And there's already other visitors we haven't seen yeah, yet. Jordan and Robert yes. are here. And we're supposed to go to the farmer's market, and supposed to run, and edit the vlog, and get rest, and be with Eve, too. Yeah. Can't forget about Eve while the air hearts are here. Right. We were smart and didn't get anything to eat. We ate leftovers and hummus and pretzels. But Peter just took a swig of that. Michael what? Sullivan. <laughs> Why'd you do that to me? Sean. We didn't even get the reaction. I didn't even know you were doing it. I just had like a little bit on my tongue and it... Sean, you're not ready for this. I'll actually have like a fair amount with you, but... Yikes. All right, today's Friday the 27th. Got a short and sweet one. Bob Marley says, love the life you live, live the life you love. Gotta love that one. I also got a gift card from Amazon. Got a gift card for Amazon from work the other day, and we got some cool stuff. Sarah got Jonathan Van Ness's over the top new autobiography. I got an, an awesome Ultra Runners memoir for, called Run or Die, Killian's book. And this is probably the thing I'm most excited for is a foam roller so I can roll my legs out in good, proper, healthy fashion. Gets my glutes, gets my thighs, gets my calves, gets my back, gets everything good. Cannot wait to start using it. Such a simple piece, but so crucial, and I've never had them before. Got to learn how to properly use it, but I hear it hurts so good. But Sarah's already asleep. Eve's chewing on a bone, and I'm going to give her some lovin's. And it's bedtime because it's late, and we have a busy day tomorrow. So thank you for following along with us today. Um, you guys are great. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>